Hey guys, Simcolor here and today we are going to start working on the profile page for each and every single user. We are going to make a template and we are going to learn how we can fetch uh, videos related to just one user. So yeah, it is going to be a really simple lesson. We are going to do pretty much what we've done in the previous lessons, but apply to a single profile uh, page. So yeah, let's jump right into it. Okay, so first things first, uh, what we are going to do uh, next is to start up our Docker and I'm going to do a reverse search here for Docker Compose in order to run sudo docker, docker compose up builds, then type in the password and that's it. It should start up pretty fast because it is not the first time that we launch this Docker and it is already running. I'm going to quickly open up our uh, VS code and here we are. Um, and for uh, the time being, I'm going to close everything that I have left open. So the first thing that we are going to do is going to app.js and we are going to add the route for the profile page. It, this is going to be pretty much similar to the display page because we are going to have uh, an ID attached to it. So in this case, I'm going to come in here and say profile ID, and then this is going to be the profile page. So profile. This uh, hasn't been created yet, so that's what we are going to do next. I'm going to um, create a file in the user folder, uh, which is in the components folder, and I'm going to call it profile.js, okay? In here, I'm going to make use of the plugin that we are used to, to use, which is this one. Again, it is um, always good to remember. And I'm going to call RC in order to create a component for us, okay? Now, if I jump up top, I'm going to import the profile page, and we can do that simply by saying uh, component user, profile and there we go now we have our profile page created and if we jump into our uh, page which has loaded and this is the videos that we have uh, in our database if I go into profile and then some ID doesn't matter we are going to jump into the profile page but we don't have anything so I'm going to add uh, this text and as you can see uh, it appears okay so that's working as it should. I'm going to clear this up. And now we are going to start taking care of the front end for this page. So because we don't have a lot of information, uh, we just have the user's name basically, or email in this case, uh, we are just going to display that uh, in big letters. And then we are going to search for all of the videos that that user has produced. So let's do it uh, right now. Uh, I'm going to create a constructor first and foremost, because we need somewhere to store the user's information. Come in here and I'll say this dot state equals to open curly brackets and say user. And I'm going to set it to no uh, uh, first. Okay, so the state of the user will be no whenever we enter this uh, class components. Uh, let's add super props in order to make it work. And that's it. Now in the component inbound, we'll make a call for our backend in order to get the user's data. And uh, this will be a pretty sim uh, simple thing to do. All we, we are going to do is to first of all import Axios, import Axios from Axios. And as you may remember, Axios is the, um, the package that we use in order to make HTTP requests. So I'm going to come in here and say axios.get. And the, um, the, the endpoint which uh, we are going to call will be HTTP slash slash 127.0.0.1. Two point sixty two hundred. Again, this should be in a in an environment variable, but for now, let's leave it at that. Uh, it should be in an environment variable because when we are de uh, developing, we are going to use this URL, obviously. But when we when we want to deploy this um, this web page for production, 
then uh, this will be a domain and not uh, this uh, uh, URL. So the endpoint will be API slash user and the parameters that it will accept are uh, quite simply the ID which uh, is passed along in the route in here. Okay, so do params to points and I'll say ID and the ID uh, will fetch from the props. So it is really simple. We've done this in the video display. You simply say this dot props dot match dot params dot ID. And this will return to you the ID that's in the URL. Okay, and that way we are able to get the URL, the, the ID of the current user. So uh, that's basically it. Now all you have to add is the callbacks. So then uh, response, not this response. Let me just place this in within parentheses, response, arrow function, open that up. And now we set the state to the um, user's data. So these outside states, open curly brackets, user response dot data. Okay, and this will be uh, the information that we get from the, the um, this HTTP request will be just the username, the user object basically. So if you come into user models, this is the information that we'll get from it. And on top of it, we'll get also the ID. But the ID we already knew from before because uh, that's the ID that we have in here. So uh, that information we already have, what we are looking for basically is just the, the name of the user. Uh, obviously, if we added a profile image and stuff like that, then we would be able to display that image uh, using the data that um, is fetched from this HTTP request. Okay, so then simply add the catch. Which will be error, error function. And then just, let's just log the error. Uh, if this goes into production, then it is always good practice to remove all of the console logs. But for now, because we are developing, it is quite useful to have this information. So now uh, what we want to do is in the render, check first and foremost if the user is not null. So, uh, and I'm going to parse the, the user into a variable. So const user equals to this dot state. This way we can access the, the user variable without calling this dot state every single time. So if user equals to null, then we'll return an empty uh, div with nothing inside it, uh, just so that uh, the page has time to load and only then will it show um, the elements that we want to display. If the user is not null, then we'll return something else. In this case, we'll simply have an h3, for example, with and within curly brackets, user dot name and this will display the user's name okay so this is pretty straightforward and this for now is all that we are going to do we are going to jump into the back end and learn how we can make an endpoint that will fetch the user information okay so now let's jump into the routes uh, and for that we have to go into the back end folder here we are, and I'm going to double up on the, the first function, which is the user verify, just so that we can get the boilerplate of an endpoint. And I'm actually going to add the get after the user. So I'm going to come into the profile page and add the get, uh, just to make everything uh, clearer. Okay, so now what we want is to, uh, instead of parsing whatever is in here, the user and the ID token, we don't need any of that. We just need the ID of the user that we want to fetch the information of, okay? And that way we can uh, get everything needed. So let's say get by 
ID. And this will, will be the name of the function that uh, we'll run in order to get the, inf the user's information. So get by ID and we pass along the ID and that's it. And now we have the endpoint created. So uh, now we must obviously jump into the user.js and write the function which will get the, the user by ID. So I'm going to go below the verify account, add a comma, and simply start typing get by ID to points ID. Okay, and now we'll add the promise because we'll, this will be an asynchronous uh, function. Remember, uh, when you make a call to the database, it most likely always is. So resolve, reject, and arrow function, just like we've always done. Now, let's say if ID different from null, just make sure that everything goes correctly. We'll uh, add the parentheses. Let's indent that. And now say user dot find by ID ID. This will get us the, the user because remember the ID that, that we have is the ID that was created by Mongoose. So we can simply use that. If this uh, ID was the Firebase ID, remember those are two different things, then we would have to do like find one and then say Firebase ID two point uh, ID and that ID would be the Firebase ID. But because this ID is the one created by uh, Mongoose when the user was created, then we can simply say find by ID and that will uh, do everything that we need. Let's say then result open curly brackets and we are simply going to resolve the result. Okay, as easy as that. And uh, add the catch, which I'm going to grab from up top. It is the same and do that. So we now have the, the information that we need. I'm going to add the else in here and uh, just in case the ID is null. ID is null. This is a string, so don't forget to add the quotes and there we go. Okay, so now uh, we are able to give it a quick spin, but uh, we are not because we aren't able to get to this page um, easily. So I'm going to go into video display and in here we, we will have to add a link to the profile page. And in order to do this, uh, the first thing that we must do is to import the link. So in the video display, I'm going to come in here and say import pan curly brackets link from React, uh, where is it? React router DOM, uh, and this will import us the link. Remember, this is the way that we can uh, tell React to go into a different page, or in this case, to going to uh, to rerun the. Um, let me just jump in here to show you the app.js uh, and to for this router to know that it must point to a different component and show us that component instead. Okay, so now that we have the link, we are able to quite easily uh, go to a different page. So let's grab link and this will be in the creator name. I'm going to come in here, say link, open that up and move the creator name inside of link. Indent that. And now, let me just move this out of the way, okay? And now, in order to go to that page, we simply have to add two, open two curly brackets, path name, two points, and in this case, it will be profile. And I'm going to add the slanted quotes. I don't 
quite know how these are called, but yeah, you get what I'm saying. And uh, the reason why I'm using this is because it makes it uh, makes the code look a lot better in the case of uh, string uh, building like we are doing now. So profile, and then we simply say open curly brackets with the dollar sign uh, before that. And this way we are able to uh, insert um, a variable inside of a string and say video.creator dot id slash underscore id and this will get us the real id of the user so now when we save this and we go into a video this uh, test at gmail.com which is the name of the user in this case will be highlighted and we are able to click it so if we jump into it as you can see we go into the profile page of the user now nothing is showing let's see why Request 404. Let's check why that is. A few moments later. And after a quick look into the code, I quickly found the error. So in routes, this is a get and not a post. Remember, we are not making alterations to the database. We are just fetching data. And in the profile, I actually found another error, in, which is in here. We should declare an, uh, an instance of the this variable, uh, save an instance of the this variable so that we can use inside the axios get otherwise uh, the this will, would be pointing to another thing so yeah we must must use the that uh, so in this case it should be all working uh, properly at the get and there we go uh, we are able to get the user's information from the database now all that's left is to uh, actually get all of the videos but before that i'm just going to come in here and say class name container just to give some padding to everything and there we go i'm actually going to put h1 in this in order to uh, make it uh, a bit more uh, uh, visible Okay, so now for the displaying of videos of the user, we are going to make use of the video list uh, component that we have here, uh, and we are going to uh, change it somewhat in order to be able to display either videos from uh, general videos uh, organized as we have in the home page, or uh, videos created by a single user. So that's the next part, and we'll learn something uh, a bit different from this. Okay, so now when we go into home, uh, we are simply calling video list with nothing else. However, we are going to add a, another uh, a parameter to this uh, part because we need to tell the video list if this is a home page or if it is the profile and do the query, uh, the HTTP request accordingly. And the way we, you do that is by adding, let's say, location which will give us basically the path name. And in the case of the home page, we are just going to say home. Okay, and I'm going to exchange the double quotes by single quotes. It looks a bit uh, cleaner. And uh, now we'll be able to access this variable inside the video list and do uh, what we want according to the, um, the variable that we get. So in the video list, I'm going to come up top and say, location two points and uh, we'll get that information from the props so uh, these dot props dot location now if uh, i quickly do a console log of the these dot props dot location you'll see uh, why we are doing this let's come in here jump into the home page and as you can see home is printed it, it is exactly what we need Okay, so now in the component in mounts, what we'll do is say if, uh, and I'm going to do a switch case, even though we just we will just have two types of video uh, list uh, elements or gets, I'm going to add uh, a switch because in that case, you'll be able to quite easily add more to it. So these dots states dot location. And you didn't even need to, to place the, 
the location in a, a, in a state variable, but it just looks nicer in my opinion. So that's what I'm, why I'm doing that. So let's say case home and case home will do this get, but if it is a profile, for example, and let's add the break inside here, indent all of that, but case profile, for example, then we'll do something a bit different. We'll do the video list, uh, but for the user. So let's say user. And the parameters that will pa be passed along uh, from the, these get will be the same as uh, in the profile. So let's come in right in here, grab that and simply paste it. This way, we'll be able to pass along all of the information needed. Okay, so as you can see, we didn't change much, but by reusing code, we are able to not get a bunch of lines of code that are repeated, and we are able to uh, be quite efficient in our code writing. So at the break, and that's it. Now, all that's left is to add this endpoint to the backend, and we are basically done. So let's go into routes, and in the video parts, I'm going to drop that inside there. Grab that and change the endpoint name. API video user. List by user, or get by user. Okay? And uh, this will be passed along with an ID of the user. I'm going to grab it from up top. Pass along the ID and then go into the video function. Let me just grab the name of the function. Go uh, where the list is, but keep things organized and add it there. I'm going to actually just copy and paste the list function because it is pretty similar to what we want to do. So get by user. Now uh, what we have to do is to make a query in order to find all of the videos that contain a creator with the ID that we want. And this is quite easy to do. All we uh, have to do is to inside the find function, we are going to add creator two points ID. And this will try to find the um, the videos that have a creator with the ID that we just passed along. And as you can see, it is uh, really quite simple. So let's save it and let's see what turns out of this. So let's go into the profile image and nothing appears. Nothing appears because we didn't add the video list to uh, the profile page. So I'm going to go into a home, grab the video list line, and add it here, okay? We also need to import the video list, grab it, grab the imports, paste it there, and if we jump in here, uh, it isn't in the same folder, so we must go two folders back, one folder back, so two points, and uh, the videos appear. So I'm going to take a quick break I'm going to add yet another user so that we can see that these videos don't appear to every single user that we've created. Okay, so we are back and I made a couple of errors that we must fix. And the first one, the first one you can actually see in here, uh, you cannot read uh, params of undefined. So uh, before that, let's just fix the first thing. Uh, in profile, in the video list, I forgot to change the location, which in this case would be profile and not home, obviously. And uh, the other error that happens is in here, in the video list. We can't access the these params match, uh, these props match params ID in here. Uh, if we do that, and if we reload the page, we'll see that we get the error. And this is because this component is, even though it is inside the profile components, it isn't the same and doesn't have the same props as the profile components. So in order to overcome this, 
I'm going to add yet another param, which will be the, this, uh, the id param. The id param will contain the, these props match params id. So let's add that. Go in here up top, double up on the location, add id or change ID uh, location for ID. Going to remove this console log. Going to remove this console log, which I had for testing purposes. And in here, I'm going to say this.state.id. And now it should be fixed. Okay, so uh, I created two users and disregard the lack of image in this uh, video. This is because I changed the video for the image and because we don't have a check for that yet, uh, then uh, the image that I'm trying to put in here is actually a video and it isn't able to. Okay, so I'm going to go into the home page and in here we are able to view all of the videos that uh, we have currently. The first two ones are from the test at gmail.com account. The last two ones are from the test two at gmail.com. So I'm going to up open up both of them. This is for the test two. And I'm going to open up the profile and this for the test at gmail.com. And as you can see, uh, the corresponding videos are where they should be. So yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, it is working. It is doing what it should be doing. So um, in the next lesson, we'll probably handle the subscription parts. Uh, that's the, I believe the last parts that we'll do in this series. Then I'll work on the redesign and I'll start working on the next series, which I actually already have the boilerplate for that series. Uh, if you have any suggestions, then please leave them in the comment section down below. But it should be interesting uh, nonetheless. Uh, so yeah, let's do it. Uh, but for the meantime, uh, thank you all very much for watching. I hope to see you again tomorrow and ciao.